Hey, Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in. Today, quick MD Minute coming out of a well-known journal called Circulation looked at a fascinating study. Over 6 million Korean healthy people that were followed for at least six years, and every couple of years they had a physical. So this is called a cohort of healthy people. And they followed them, and this is what they were looking at. They were looking at what happened if over the period of six years, your blood pressure, your weight, your cholesterol, or your blood sugar fluctuated a lot, went up and went down. You yo-yoed, so you went high, you went yo, you went high, you went low. What did that do in terms of your final risk of a bad outcome, meaning a really significant health problem? So what they did at the end of the six years is they looked at these people, they categorized them as people with stable blood pressure, stable cholesterol, stable weight, stable uh, blood sugar, versus the people who were fluctuating, going up and down. And what they found was that if you were in the fluctuating group, fluctuating the most, your risk of dying was literally doubled compared to people who were stable. And there was a 40% increase in having a heart attack or having a stroke compared to the people who had stable metabolic numbers, metabolic indices. So they concluded, and this is my take on it as well, that all of these fluctuations, which weren't good for your health, they were all causing the same underlying problem. The lining of the blood vessels is lined with something called endothelium. It's a type of skin. And if you get a lot of inflammation or dysfunction in the lining of the blood vessels, that's going to cause increased risk of heart attack or stroke and obviously of death. So my take on this is that we really want to be stable. We don't want big fluctuations both in life and in our metabolic indices. And that will probably reduce our risk of endothelial dysfunction, heart attack, stroke or death. Thanks, Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in.